What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to be your host today. As we go back and I suppose we're going to talk to Rice, I think is what's going on right now. We actually finished off the tower right there. You know what I took a look at? Look at our mods on this hammer right here. Like all of the things that we've added to it have turned it into just like this. It's got like a little shaving thing on the side. Is that like the block? It's like the hair blocker from an electric shaver on the sunny side of the hammer. Like where did we even get that? I would assume an electric shaver. Never mind, I take my question back. I hate it when I say dumb stuff like that I'd be like where did we ever get the head from an electric shaver I'm like uh, you just answered your own question man you just answered your own question and when you when you answer your own question like that and then feign ignorance I'm sure it's probably frustrating to somebody out there hey okay so anyways let's move forward oh look the night crawlers are out I was unawares I was unawares is okay well we need to go talk to Rice, and I'm figuring I'm just going to focus on the single-player storyline for right now. I think there's a lot of stuff to get done, and I'd like to make it such that we actually accomplish stuff on, like, a daily basis when we play. Watch that Nightcrawler over there. That weird washed-out feature that the game gets every single time. Oh, an airdrop just went down. I'm going to go after it real fast. I know that I said <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm so terrible at sticking to my guns with stuff like this. I just said that I was going to, like, can I climb this right here? No, I've been playing too much Stranded Deep. Makes me think that I can climb anything and then fall off of it and break my arm into a V-shape. It'll be alright though. I really, really... Oh, I have unspent skill points? Where did that... Oh, wrong menu. What? I have unspent skill points. Well, let's make that ha... Oh, agility point. Yeah. I like agility points. So, light drop reduces your fall damage by half. Falling from great heights is still fatal. When grabbed, you can shake off biters more quickly. Kicking during a slide kick will break the enemy's legs. Press E while doing it. Okay. And then we have the... I'll probably take health regen. I realize that that's not the most fascinating of skill, but it is probably the best utilitarian skill that we could take because as of right now, we're sort of like in Wolfenstein mode, I guess. Or not Wolfenstein mode. Well, yeah, OG Wolfenstein mode where you don't regenerate. Old games didn't... You had to find pickups in old games. They didn't give you health back like that. Like, I, I, the old guy inside of me that has trouble playing video games because of my old man reflexes likes the fact that I get regen in every game now. But the the inner child in me is just so upset right now I should probably I could either go for crafting expertise let's go for master backpacker for right now because we do have a very very full inventory and being able to carry stuff around I didn't realize I was dismantling things when I pressed the Z key and so from now on I promise that I will take note of that let's stay up here hopefully the night crawler doesn't see me or the night I don't know the night squiggly mouth molester thingy. I don't even know what he's supposed to be. They can't be fought right now. This would be a very, very bad time. I had somebody in the comments ask me why I don't fight them. They're pretty hardcore, and they summon more things that are also equally hardcore, and so it becomes like this long-term issue when you fight with them where it can be very, very difficult to finish them off before other stuff shows up, and so Sands of Firearm, I find that I tend to just ignore them until I have better guns later on in the game. Alright, so we got a lockpick right here. Let's see... Have I ever mentioned how much more I like this lockpicking minigame than the original Oblivion lockpicking game? I, I couldn't stand that little Tumblr game that they had. Not the actual, like, website Tumblr, but the game. They had, you had to take, like, the lockpick and you had to push up the little bronze tumblers. And I could do it. It's not that I wasn't able to do it. It's just that I find this one right here to be more enjoyable where you do the rotation and then the screwdriver. I like it. And I'm glad that games like Fallout and stuff like that all have it. It's, it's instantly recognizable. That's one of the reasons I think they probably went with it in this. What is that? That's a toe catcher right there. Why would you put that in the middle of your house? Oh, that was right there. That's nasty, too. I'm thinking that that's just like a design flaw right there. Somebody needs to call the architect and be like, Yo, I just bashed my toe open. Is there any way we can, like, I don't know, get some, get some kind of payback for this or what? Oh, it went to the bottom of the ocean. That's good. That's not the ocean. That's a river. I think it's a tributary. It attaches to the ocean, though, so it's close enough. We have medical supplies. Yes, please. Where's my oxygen at? How do I decide how much air I have? I like how he flails his way to the surface. He's like, ah! He feels his way up to the surface like a blind guy. As I never noticed that animation before. Alright, so let's grab... How do I... Hey. 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 Is there any way for me to... There we go. Okay, so there's like a sweet spot. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out if you're wondering what's going on right now. I'm sitting here spamming F on these things because they don't seem to be lootable. But there's a sweet spot. It's kind of like when you're trying to drag stuff in Stranded Light. Every single object has its own little like sweet spot that you have to target. Same thing with these. You have to be like a certain amount above it before to let you loot it. There we go. See, the second one was easy because I had it figured out. First one was a little bit tough though. 
We have, I think he's up at top. Yeah, he's up at the top. Let's go unlock this safe. No, let's go to Rice. I want to start being very, very good about finishing the things I talk about doing in my episodes because obviously sometimes I feel like we don't get a whole lot done. Every couple episodes I'll try and do like a free roaming episode where we just fiddle around with random stuff. I would say like every, oh, let's call it three or four episodes maybe. I know some people are interested in seeing the free roaming, so I do want to feature that in the game. But for right now, how do I get in here? A sunroof maybe? Is there like a, a hole in the roof or anything? We're like, yeah, buddy, we just installed a sunroof on our shack. How you like that right now? Oh, there it is, a door. I walked right past it. Who would have known? Uh, there's one of them on the other side of this building. Let's wait. I was going to crash the window open, but for right now... Oh, he's coming back this way. Is he? Alright, well, for the time being... Let's just go handle rice for right now. We'll worry about sneaking into some of these locations in a bit. I feel like I'm doing a little bit less exploration in this playthrough simply because we did so much exploration in the press preview. When they sent out the press preview, basically you ran out of storyline in like 25 minutes. And so basically all there was left to do was to run around and platform and explore stuff. So, oh, there's a zombie in the dark too. And she is well aware of us. They all are. All right, we're going to have to move real fast. Give me a flashlight. There we go. Let's shed some light on this situation. I feel like shedding light kind of sounds like it would be inconvenient. Like when your cat sheds, it's inconvenient. Shedding light, I would say throw some light, but that seems more violent towards the light. I don't know, spreading light? That sounds vaguely sexual. I don't know. It's very, very difficult to decide like what my distribution, me like, what my distribution method is going to be for the light in question. I guess we'll just go with shed. Eh, inconvenience better than either of the other two. <laughs> we'll go... We'll go with the worst case, best case scenario here. I love the fact that you can actually leap. Raheem? The antennas. Bracken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Yeah, that was me. And now I'm on my way to see Rise again. And get the antis in? That's the deal. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hear each other without static for the first time since... whatever. See you back at the tower. I'll be there as soon as I can. So, I don't know if you noticed, but this is called the Bites Motel, which is a play on the Bates Motel. Anyways... Hey, get out of here. I have a legendary weapon. Like, this is the thing... This... Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Alright, so an explosion went off because I accidentally nicked a fire extinguisher, it looks like. Oh, if we get trapped back here, this is going to be so bad. Ow. Ah. How did I know? How did I... Climb faster. Nope, you're not coming up here. Nope, cool kids only. Sorry, cool kids... Nope. Cool kids only. You can't... You can't get up here until you have your wrist slapper watches or your, at least your click clackers. Come on, man. There's there's rules of entry to the cool kids club. If you want to be with the cool kids, you got to get down with it. So until you have those vital things, what were those things called? We had those when I was a kid. They were like little wrist, like they were essentially just wristbands that were made out of like this weird elastic. And essentially, what they are you still alive? My God, you were just a glutton for pun. How did you even? Did you just piggyback off that wall? Wow, that's a talented. Here, I'm gonna jump on you real fast because I don't like you. And you're upsetting me with your amazing ability to track me down and destroy me. There we go. Anyways, what were those things called? When I was a kid, they were wristbands. Like, they were kind of like bracelets that straightened out and then you slapped them on. Were they called slappers? Snappers? I forget what they were called. Anyways, they were really, really popular when I was a kid. That window is... I like how every window in this place is reinforced with wood. Like, is that a normal Middle Eastern thing? Like, do buildings... Frequently, is that because of sand? Like, why would that be? I'm not gonna- I'm gonna try not to say something stupid and ignorant right now. Like, what are these shutters for? Are they just like, in lieu of curtains? Is it just like a style thing, or does it actually have a function that curtains cannot fulfill? Would be my question, I guess. I'm trying to word it as best as possible because if you give me too much leeway with my words, I will say something dumb and ignorant. Like, it'll happen. I will say something that's vaguely offensive to somebody, and I'll be like, oops, and then I'll have to like, come back later and be like, I didn't mean it, please forgive me, baby, and all that stuff, and frankly, Forgiveness is not on call nowadays. It is not around. I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, I can lockpick this? Okay. It says it's a hard lockpick. 
but the very hard ones are the only ones that I've actually struggled with so far in the game. The hard ones are not so terrible. Hopefully it'll be worth it. There's nothing else coming after me right now, right? Okay. Cool. Let's have a look inside of here. I don't know. I like to loot in peace. One piece more specifically, but oh, the stinky edge. Yep. Who doesn't want a stinky edge? Our blade will now fell I will now smell foul. I don't know how that helps us against zombies who presumably don't really have much of a sense of smell. I'm like, hey, I have a sense of smell. Don't be a smellist. A nosist. Let's see here. We've got a lot of broken glass on the floor? I don't know what that's supposed to be, actually. It's kind of strange looking. I'm going to grab myself some aerosol. We'll get some dried fruits. There it is. We're almost up on full health. I love how big our health supply is right now. I don't know if I failed to mention that up until this point, but our health supply is absolutely fantastic right now. It was a little bit low when you start out in the game, and that's fine. You're beginning the game, but at this point, <laughs> you just got Mario'd. How do you feel right now? You just got Mario'd so hard. I'm like, well, I feel pretty terrible. Even my book, book. A coin didn't pop out, though. Oh, well. Not a coin-bearing enemy. What's in here? I get sidetracked in these games so easily. A battle journal, okay? People said that in the comments that the battle journals, I had asked about that, and people kindly had told me that it's in my inventory, actually. You can read the battle journals in here somewhere. And so, taking a look around... Let's see. Ah, collectibles. There it is. That's how I missed it. Okay. So I'll probably go through note 23. What does that read? Okay, that's fairly long. So what I'll do is once we have an episode where we got like free roaming and just random stuff going on, I'll, I'll read a couple of them from now on. I'll try and read a couple anyways. Like one or two in each episode. Maybe at the end. Or maybe when we pick them up. I don't know. I'm bad at structuring and figuring things out. That's why I could never be an engineer. That's, they just wouldn't allow it. I had to go be a geologist, which is like... The rivalry with engineers. We work with engineers a lot. Geologists do anyways. Geologists and engineers and biologists, those two. I would say engineers and biologists we more frequently work with than anybody else. Just because geologists tend to get slapped onto the engineering team in general because we have to do we have to do soil samples. You have to make sure that whatever the ranger, I'm sorry, I almost said whatever the ranger, whatever the geologist and the engineer are working on, usually it's some kind of structural build. And so you have to make sure, the geologist's job is to make sure that the earth underfoot is not going to slide out from underneath this thing and to figure out just like how cogent like the the soil is so you have to run soil tests you have to do a bunch of other stuff basically you have to see where the bedrock is if they want to build on bedrock that's like a big deal i know a bunch of geologists that they won't move into a house or they won't live into a house until they find out whether it's built on bedrock or not probably a smart idea here in california though because we get so many earthquakes we had a big one the other day not too long ago i mean i think i brought it up in the channel it's probably about three or four months ago now it's not, like, uncommon for us to have big earthquakes here, but we had, like, an especially, a reasonably large one. One that actually elicits worry. Oh, look, it's one of those spitty guys. Man, get out of here, spitty McShitty. Uh, leave me alone. Eh. I don't like being spit on. That's really, really unpleasant. Deep down, I can tell right now why there's always a fight when somebody gets spit on. Somebody needs help. And being the helper individual that I am... I'm going to have a look and see how I can assist. Is he... He's down here. Oh, he's inside this door. Okay. Um, there's no door? What are they doing right now? Just standing behind the building? That's odd. Hey, stop with your flailing. This would go a lot quicker if you would just quit struggling. Is he up on the roof? Oh, he's right there. I've never seen that before. Usually they're inside of a door, inside of a window getting attacked. So you okay now? Cool. Got ourselves another Enforcer mod. That's good because we've actually been running out lately. I've been very, very low on mods. We threw them all into our legendary weapon if you're wondering where they all went. This little hammer right here. I should probably save it for worse situations. I also like the spike bat that we have. Like, spike bats, such a ridiculously cool weapon. And this one's actually really badass because they use screws. Typically, people just hammer nails through them. I've only seen one or two in my entire life. I've never actually seen somebody get hit with one. I've seen ones that people have made and then attempted to sell on the internet and stuff like that. And they're cool looking. They're definitely intimidating. Hey, great. I got a second. I want to to somebody who really wants to talk to you. Huh? Who? Is this Kyle Crane? Who wants to know? My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. Just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given 
us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, please, don't hesitate to ask. Mr. Crane, Mr. Crane, Mr. Crane makes it plain when he jumps out a plane that he will not refrain from beating in brains and so forth and so on. I could keep that one going. The AIN sound is very, very easy. I have a large internal library for the AIN. Done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antis in. Let's see here. Is Rice inside the building or did I just like do a zone in for no reason whatsoever? Oh no, he's in here. Good. He's got a spiffy suit too. Ooh, that tearing. That tearing though. All right. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. If you're worth trouble, I feel like that's kind of like an alternate resource, like getting paid in trouble. I don't know. I think in the next episode, I'm going to have to turn on... This wasn't happening before, but I'm going to have to turn on the V-Sync in the next episode. I don't know. Maybe it has been happening. Either way, I thought it was fine enough to where I didn't have to, but eh, we might have to V-Sync up. Let's go talk to our weapons broker real fast before we do anything else. So he's got a limited time sale, an all-purpose toxic striker. So with the all-purpose toxic striker, that's going to cost me 720. I think we're doing pretty good on weapons right now. I really don't think we need much else. Let's go ahead and we'll sell off all of our valuables, which will come out to a smooth $2,700. If only it was so easy in life to make that amount of money. Nope, it was actually quite difficult. If I had to run through a zombie horde and do a whole bunch of crazy parkour stuff and maybe get my face sucked on by ridiculous bipedal hentai monsters, that's a lot more trouble that I'm willing to sign up for in most cases. <laughs> Little bit too much. Little bit too much. So how much of this stuff... I'm actually just going to sell all these, I think, because I'd like the cash for right now. I'm going to keep the medieval throwing axes because I just can't let that sneak by. I have to throw one at somebody at some point, and so that'll have to stay in our inventory for the time being. He wants underwater algae. Unfortunately, I don't have any, so we can't really like do that deal right there. We can only have four in our inventory, right? I wish it had a little icon. Oh, it does. Never mind. I think that means that it's equipped right there, maybe? Although, shouldn't we have four weapons? Hold on. Let me take a look here. Let me do some... Oh, yeah. One of my weapons is gone. Okay. Well, here. Put the plane hammer right there, then. No. Is the military shovel broken? How many repairs does it have left? None. Okay. So, it has no repairs left. I've got a bonus hammer, just in case. Just in case. On this side, we got a short gator knife. I've never seen a gator knife before in my life, so I don't even know what distinguishes a gator knife. I would assume it would have some kind of, like... It'd be similar to perhaps a, leather, a leather-working knife or like a scaling knife. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't live in an area with gators. Don't live in an area. I'm going to sell my flares too because I find them to be not that great. Let's see. I was going to... Oh, yeah. We should sell the military shovel before things go too far. And I think that's going to clear out my inventory fairly well. I'm going to keep one extra hammer just in case. I would like to have another military shovel. But for the time being, since our inventory is so fine... like our, We've got a lot of money. Our inventory is still full... I'd say I'm just going to stay away from buying any further weapons because I'd like to... I, I bet sometime in this game there's going to be expensive stuff that we could buy from somebody. And when that time comes, I want to have the cash. Ah, my friend. Rice likes you. I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind... Not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? I guess I'll have to be. Okay, so it sounds like we're running a protection racket right now, or at least that's what I fear. If I was in this situation, that's what I'd be worried about. Did you <laughs> Shit, you wouldn't last a minute. Psh, 
I already done lasted a minute. In fact, I done lasted like an hour and a half worth of minutes. Where's the door? <laughs> you're a dumbass, you can't even find the door, but you think you're gonna last a minute. I'd be like, actually, this video was 20 yeah, minutes long, so there you go. But the GRE won't I have proof, documentation, whatever you require, I have it in my inventory. Alright, so now that we're here, I can sleep, eh, we don't need to schlep. Schlepping is for the week. I actually, I have a strong, strong dislike of sleeping in real life. Like, seriously, I'm not even joking right now, like, I like sleeping, like, it's pleasurable to sleep. But I've always felt like sleep is just like a giant waste of time and I could get more stuff done if I didn't have to do it. Like, if somebody came up with a pill tomorrow that allowed me to no longer have to sleep, I would take it every single day. Just so I wouldn't have to sleep anymore and I could just get loads and loads and loads of work done. It's pretty much what it comes down to. That would be super sweet. Especially considering that I enjoy my job. Like, I work on YouTube, for those of you that people don't know. I actually do this full time at this point. I started doing it full time probably right around the time college ended for me anyways, about six months ago. But yeah. I was able to stop doing other side jobs and stuff like that and start doing this full time about six months ago. And I forgot what the point was that I was working towards right here. But yeah, it eats up a lot of hours in the day. It eats up a lot of hours in the day doing this. But it's something that I enjoy doing. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks, and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out. You know who should really remember what's at stake? Vampires. That's who. Stakes have a very, very shaky relationship with them. And so if one person, I mean, if anybody was to be aware of it, it should be vampires. Let's see, we got some lockpicking stuff right here. Let's free roam for a couple minutes. We got enough like storyline stuff done for right now that I kind of just want to wander around and we'll see what we can find. I know we found that underwater cave, but it seemed like the challenge that was in there might be a little bit outside of our league for right now. We're like in farm pony ball, and it seemed like it was more on like the pro spectrum. So I think we could hang in there just on our basic like knowledge of the rules and being able to exploit some of the zombie AI, but still seemed kind of risky to me. What's in here? Toolbox, right, with a little bit of plastic in it. Okay. Over there, we have one of the hazmat zombies. I guess that I'll head across the train tracks, I suppose. See if we can find anything anywhere else. That building doesn't look open anywhere, so we're not going to worry about it. We've got a zombie on fire over there. No, that's a car. I can tell the difference between a car and a zombie. I could tell the difference. I know, I know stuff and things about life. I'm not that bad at it. I mean, despite what people have told me over the course of my years. I don't know. When I was a kid, like I was that kid that was like worthless at everything. Like, I never knew how to fix stuff. I never knew how to, like, do anything really practical. Which is kind of like the ultimate irony, because my, my old man is, like, one of those guys. He knows how to do, like, everything from electronics to, like, soldering to welding to, like, you name it. For example, yesterday, he built a smelter in his barn, and now he's learning how to blacksmith, because it's, like, one of the few skills that he does not have. He's a carpenter, he's a metal worker, electrician. Like, he has, like, all these random things that he knows how to do. How did I know? I'm gonna hit your little backpack right there. Eh. I don't know why it's so fun hitting his backpack and watching him explode. It's a terrible idea. By all standards, it's the worst idea ever because it calls in virals. But it's still fun. I still enjoy it. I like watching him go kaboomski. Where are they at right now? Well, there's a red box right there, just in case we want to get some movies. No, it's a red box full of loot. Not movies, so we'll check that out. It's in kind of a weird spot that you wouldn't notice, so I figure maybe it'll be... Oh, it's a medium box. We probably won't get anything too amazing from right here, but... It'll be something supplementary to throw on into the inventory so that we can sell it or maybe break it down later. Or coffee. There you go. I'll take coffee. It's worth money. It's worth money and stuff and things. Jump over to the fence right here. Yeah! And then we've got a blue guy over here. Hopefully he doesn't start banging on drums and making a bunch of noise and playing with paints. Because A, I don't want to deal with the mess. B, I don't want to deal with the noise. So, you know. I came in with the hazmats, Team 4. It was two days before they sealed the city. And our job was to go door to door and find out who was still alright. So, we'd knock on doors. Sometimes you'd hear a voice that sounded like a person. So, you'd go in. Only it turned out it was a viral. All angry and crazy just enough voice left to fool you. Sometimes, they weren't alone. The suits are pretty tough. They're PVC with reinforced double-layered polyfiber core. We thought we were safe. It turned out the biters could chew right through it. Sometimes, 
See some of my old squad shambling around. Gets me down to see them like that. You know the funny thing? They're all biters now. But they can't bite. Because they don't have the brains to take off their masks. I'll tell you, this whole thing is pretty damn strange. The best defense against something like a zombie, I would figure, would be a lot like dog training equipment. Basically, you have to take it back to medieval times, in my opinion. You'd have to use some kind of just like... What's the name of that thing? A... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm brain farting like this. Like, seriously, I should know what this is called. Like a gambeson. There we go. You would need like a thick wool gambeson. Because that would be really, really difficult for anything to chew through. Essentially, you just gotta take it back to the previous decade, or I'm sorry, the previous decade. Yes, yeah, medieval times were one decade ago. It hasn't been long. Look how much the world has changed. The technological revolution has happened right here at my feet. Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Talk you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. Alright, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm having a lot of fun with it, so... I too hope that you are having fun. I will see you all in the next episode. It'll be going up daily from here on out. I'll probably be focusing on the storyline just so we can mash it out real quick. But I'll probably do, like I said, every couple episodes I'll do a little bit of free roaming exploration. And as we saw today, I got a little bit sidetracked. But we still managed to hit like three or four objectives while getting sidetracked. So I think that'll work out. I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody.